that big up my friend. Look, Ellie. Whenever you are flying out, anybody, you have mm -hmm. to come to the first class lounge exactly. to see the prettiest shit right here, son. Yeah. Like, Come on, hey, yo! You gotta check out Amanda's 876 Adventures Blog Energy Guard. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Uh, uh, touch it, 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 touch it. Yo, Amanda, let them a wonder. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to all my adventurers. If you're new here, hit the subscription button. Today, in this vlog, I'll be talking about Club Kingston, which is located at the Normal Manly International Airport in Kingston, Jamaica. It's actually my very first time flying through this airport. And I will be doing a comparison between Club Mo Bay, Club Kingston, as well as this airport and the one in Montego Bay. Upon entering, I noticed this these sculptures that were here and it was placed here in honor of Jamaica's most famous sculptor Alvin Marriott and he did a pretty good job except for Sam Sharp why does Sam Sharp has a whole C cup like a B C cup like look at <laughs> why you have to do Sam Sharp like that and for those who don't know these are our national heroes Jamaica have seven national heroes and this nanny deep nano breasts but much Sam Sharp with all of the breasts Anyways, they also had the hummingbirds, and the hummingbirds are our national bird. So, it 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 the, the airport, you know, it shows a lot of heritage, and I can respect that. But overall, a very small airport, um, lacking in a lot of stuff. You know, it, it can be better. So after I did self checking. You know, your girl always travel with carry on only. So I'm heading to Club Kingston now. This is the area where over in Montego Bay at the Sanction Sangsters International Airport, there would have been more food areas more places for you to sit you know more duty free for you to buy alcohol and stuff like that you know it really wasn't really there i saw a store that says books and cds i mean i play cds in my car but i know a lot of people they aren't gonna stop to say hey let me buy a cd before i go on the plane because i'm gonna put it in my cd player you get me so it it's it's kind of ancient and a little bit dated I know you guys to stay tuned because I'm traveling to Costa Rica and we have a layover in Panama. So we're going to the Panama airport now. And you guys will see the vast difference in both of the airports. Trust me. But they do have one and two places for you to get food. And, you know, but the traffic is not a lot there. So we're here, Club Kingston. This is why you guys clicked on the thumbnail in the first place. And this is it. It is one flat. When I say one flat, what I mean, so in Club Mobe, there's an upstairs and a downstairs. Again, guys, you have to check out my Club Mobe vlog to know the difference. You know, it's pretty much the setup is the same. They have the departure board so you can see what time your flight is. I'm on the Copa Airline that's going to Panama City right there. There's only one bar, but the bar is pretty much a replica of what the bar in Montego Bay looks like. You know, they have the decor. They have all the alcohol there. And I Club Mobe, once you pay for your your departure lounge ticket the alcohol is inclusive you get food as well and the uh, staff that was there very mannerable very nice you know you're greeted by marcia she's very pleasant she asks you to take a seat when you take a seat you know there's a little barcode you scan you see the menu and what's going on and then a waitress comes to you asks you whatever you need whatever a beverage or food or whatever and in less than five minutes, she reappears with the food. And you can order as many times as you want to order. That's one of the waitress right there that's walking right now. But you can see it has a lot of um, seating areas for you to lounge, obviously. They have the popcorn, they have juice, they have club sandwiches. But with all of this, you can always ask someone and they will assist you and they will give it to you um, when you go in the lounge. There's the digital area. So... Some of the differences between this and the Montego Bay one. So the Montego Bay one is larger, obviously, because there's upstairs and downstairs. But there's more traffic at Montego Bay because tourism, you know, and a lot of people come into Montego Bay. Two, there's no kiddies corner. Um, again, Montego Bay has a kiddies corner down in Club Mobay. Again, guys, you'll have to check out the Club Mobay vlog to see the difference. And this artwork along the wall, I really do appreciate it. I love the art. And this is the art here is just as similar to the one at Club Mobay. Um, another difference is that in Club Mobay they have a little cubby section, is what I would call it, where you can, you know, put down your luggage so you're not really going around and around with it. But instead, in Club Kingston, you just leave your luggage right beside where you're sitting. Um, 
guys it's me remember to hit that subscription button like this video share this video if you know anybody that's traveling from the normal mali international airport and you're thinking of choosing club kingston for the departure lounge or even arrival then you send them this video so they can have an idea what to expect um this is the bathroom area obviously um this differs from the one in club mobile in that there's normally someone in the one a worker in club mobile who greets you sanitize the toilet area before you sit down and so on but just showing you guys the wheelchair access um bathroom as well as they have the, the area for changing diapers and so forth so as i said you know showing you guys the difference between both places they have a shower they not show the shower for club Bay, but there is a shower at club Bay, and there is one also at um club kingston obviously another difference is that in Bay they offer massages they don't offer them anymore here in club kingston which i mean i can't see why um they don't No, while i was out here just showing the place um they came with my food can you guys believe i forgot to do the food in the cart frame and i want to apologize for that but they have a wide variety of food that you can eat and eat and eat and eat again and all that as many drinks as you can had rum punch whiskey so amarita so all of that and club kingston is like a celebrity playground because that's where a lot of the local celebrities fly from and elephant man was here i'm actually a very huge fan uh, <laughs> so when it, once as he came in and i saw him i was just like wow Definitely have to take two pics and he was so kind enough to give me a shout out. Come on, hey yo, you gotta check out Amanda's 876 Adventures Blog Energy Guard. Touch your head, touch your head, touch your head. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Yo, Amanda, left them a wonder. Ah! <laughs> yo, the man said, don't know the shrub, subscribe, don't know I saw the thing go. Oh. Yeah, but that was pretty much my stay. I was actually in in um club kingston for at least three or four hours very comfortable i made myself at home i'm not sure if you guys saw but i had my laptop i was watching <laughs> i was watching top boy and just relaxing waiting for my flight so i definitely recommend you guys get it as always i'm gonna put the link in my description if you guys want to book, book club kingston before you leave then you click that link use my link guys and you book club kingston um if you're leaving from normal money and this is us right we're gonna meet up with a larger group of persons and you know this is what they gave us as snacks we are heading to panama like i said and the next couple of clips is i'm gonna show you guys the airport in panama like the airport in kingston needs a lot of help i don't know who is in charge but if as much as there's not a lot of international guests and not a lot of traffic we still need to do more about that airport you got this guys you got the difference like when you're landed in panama it's just you just see all of these you know <sighs> jamaicans with us a skyscraper yes but we made it we made it to panama yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those are some of my friends friends that we actually ran into at the airport it was a coincidence because they were going to costa rica as well so you know had the same layover they were, we were on the same flight now guys you're gonna see the obvious difference between the airport in panama and that of normal Mali international airport i just show you for one it's, it's coming like a mall right it, it seems like it's a mall within the airport there are a lot of different outlets started with different stores so there's a cost there's mac there is tommy hill figure there is polar ralph lauren there is carolina herrera there is nautica there is calvin klein victoria secret psycho bunny um pandora mac you know there were a lot of different places you could go and shop um, there's wet supper so there and you know there wasn't really a lot of different food stops or food places while we're here with our layover um some of them stopped and had food but i was full because you know i was in club mobile eating up a storm i mean i was in club kingston sorry eating up a storm because i had patty i had sushi <laughs> i had um I had quesadillas i had almost everything that they had on the menu um but i digress and there's a lot of duty-free americas that's here there's u.s polar association you guys are gonna see it as we go along because i'm showing you guys all of the different 
store outlets that's just in the airport and this airport is huge right and there are two terminals and this terminal that we're on right now is terminal one but because our layover was so long it was like roughly four hours before our next flight to panama we decided that hey you know they have a they have a lounge as well so let me go see what the lounge is like you know because in this airport in panama in terminal one they only give you half an hour free wi-fi and we have a four hour layover for granted for the most part i was editing one of the vlogs so but you know obviously i would like some wi-fi so we went down to the lounge it's called copa lounge or club copa or copa club and let me tell you listen club kingston and club mobe they're doing a phenomenal job in terms of the service that they offer and what is included in their prices because we went and checked and it was like 54 or 64 dollars to go into copa club and they said i think they said only if you have a very long layover you could stay in there and it doesn't include food it includes snacks and it does not include alcoholic beverages so club kingston and club mobay already is doing exceptionally well right because i mean why am i paying 64 dollars to go in there to get snacks and i don't even know what they're i don't know what they consider snacks as well and again club mobay and club kingston where you guys are in there you know you can eat as many times as you want so if you just don't eat two pate you want you two or three more they're gonna bring it for you you know you can drink as many rum punch as you want mimosas you know whiskey sours all of that so guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description below if you're booking club mobi or club kingston then you know you have to click on my link book the service when you're leaving flying out of jamaica or you're arriving into jamaica you can't deal with customs and you want to get past as quickly as you know they can assist you guys to then you know that's where it that's where it's at club mobi and club kingston now in this airport there were as i said many many stores that sells um clothes and so forth um there was even a Krispy Kreme there was but there wasn't much food area so there's this Krispy Kreme there was wet so pretzel um there were I was one bar and like I said my friend had the food and it wasn't good now to all the airport big there was a confusion with our flights we thought we were all on the same flights but apparently there were two separate flights going to Panama one at 9 50 and the other one at 9 10 no, 9.50 and the other one at 9.55. And the two terminals that they were leaving from were way apart. So we thought all of us were on the same flight, but we were wrong. So <laughs> um, one terminal was 2.04, the other one was at 1.36. And let me tell you guys, the airport is huge. So this is us trying to figure it out. We eventually figured it out and got ourselves together. And we all made it to our right flight on time. I got some what's what's a bite and um some what's a pretzel um and you know after all of that this was our movie <laughs> but we eventually made it leading me in panama heading to costa rica all day travel is what i did and you guys have to stay tuned for the rest of it